What did you make initially of, of these comments then, that the, the balcony was terribly white? Well, it's a very difficult subject, isn't it? But I do think that last night William made a punchy, pointed and significant speech. I mean, we've all kind of focused on him saying how proud he was of his father, but he made he went out of his way to say that King Charles has all his life sought to include people from all faiths, all communities, all backgrounds. And I think that was William saying, we are not a racist family, which is something he has said before. It was really significant, I think, and very significant uh, that William chose that enormously public platform to commit himself to a life of service to his king, his country and the Commonwealth. Um, I think it's on a par with when the Queen made her commitment when she was 21 to serve for mm. the rest of her life. So I think that speech was absolutely key to a man who is a king in waiting now. The big thing that keeps coming up time and time again, and we heard it in those Vox Pops there, which was the way Meghan Markle was treated, quotes unquote, proves that the royal family has a race problem. And then you see a load of white people on the balcony. Uh, and the fundamental issue there is whether or not Meghan Markle was treated poorly because of the colour of her skin or, or, frankly, just because people didn't like her. Well, you know, that debate will rage and people are utterly divided on that. Um, the fact of the matter is uh, she has left the UK. She hasn't left the royal family completely. She was invited to come to the coronation. Uh, she could have come. She could have brought her children if she'd mm. wished to do so. And I think having seen uh, some of the extended family on the balcony, actually, rather beyond what we expected, which was just the key working royals, but in fact there were well, the page boys were there and uh, Princess Alexandra, who is not really a working royal anymore, particularly given her great age, she was there. So um, I think there was a chance that Harry and Meghan possibly could have been on that balcony. But it was her choice to stay back. And I could completely get that because it was Archie's fourth birthday. And mm. I think it was uh, very touching that in the reception at Buckingham Palace, King Charles raised a glass to all his grandchildren and particularly to wish um, Archie a uh, happy birthday. And rather sadly, he apparently sort of said, wherever he is. And that's that's, mm. that's tough for a grandpa. Just, just one more quick one with you, Jenny, if that's all right, which is uh, just on that note of, of Prince Harry, I, I wonder whether or not he is depriving his children of the chance to be part of something really, really special. And only time will tell whether or not they grow up to resent him for that. Well, yeah, that's true. Time will tell. Um, yes, it's, it's a shame that he feels that he can't be happy here with his family, but that is the way it is. And I personally wish him, wish him the best. I think he has, I think Megan showed him an exit door that he did not know existed, did not know was possible. Um, and they are now very happy in California and I wish them well.